we go into the recipe properly let me take out a few minutes of your time and introduce you to the basic ingredients needed for this meat pie recipe here i have three fresh eggs and these eggs are very cold guys and i'll be using two for the dough and then one for washing the meat pie later in the preparation process here i have various combinations of um, spices one teaspoon um, paprika powder half teaspoon curry powder one teaspoon thyme half a null cube and a pinch of black and white peppers in this plate i have a pinch of salt some baking powder and some nutmeg using one teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of um, nutmeg i have here is my butter and i'm using 350 grams of um, cold butter here is my vegetable oil three tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil potatoes and i'm using two medium potatoes guys you can see i have them um, sliced them into little cubes here is my carrots i'm using two carrots guys here is my chili pepper my minced garlic and also a combination of um, red onion and then um, spring onion i'm using one spring onion and half bread onion I have my minced beef i'm using three to seven percent fats and 400 grams of um, minced beef in this bowl i have sifted my all-purpose flour and placed it um, right here guys so please this step is very very important make sure you sift your flour before you add it to your bowl and here i have a cup of cold water so guys these are the basic ingredients required for this um, at recipe. this stage guys we are going ahead to prepare the sauce that we are going to use for the meat pie um, recipe here i have my pot already preheated and to the pot i'm going to add the oil the oil is perfectly heated right now so i will now go ahead and add the garlic to infuse its flavor into the oil and please make sure you're making this sauce on the medium heat. in the same vein i'll add the green chilies stir fry this for just uh, maybe one to two minutes so that the flavors will be infused into the oil so at this stage guys you can notice that the garlic and the peppers have turned a little bit pale now i will introduce the onions and the spring onions we we'll still repeat the same process by stirring it until everything becomes um, translucent. After two to three minutes later of stirring everything, you notice that everything has become completely pale in nature. Right now, we go over to the next step, which is introducing the minced beef. So while we are still stirring the beef in the pot, I'm now going to add the combination of the spices I introduced earlier on with the cube. Just sprinkle it at the surface of the beef, and then break in the cube, guys. So you have to continue stirring or stir frying this minced sauce in this pot until everything turns completely pale in nature and that should take about um, three to five good minutes guys i've been stirring for like um, three to five good minutes you can notice that the minced beef here is very very pale in nature this is the right time to introduce them um, the vegetables of um, potatoes and carrots so they both have the same cooking time you have to add them at the same time so because we took time to create the base of this sauce, your meat pie is going to come out, you know, fantastic. So try your best and mix everything here very well before we now introduce the liquid inside the pot. Add some little quantity of water. What I have here is a half cup of water. I'll just add it to the pot and add another half cup of water. So the liquid I added is just um, with this um, cup measurement, that is half cup, which is um, two, and that is um, one full cup of um, water. For this sauce, you don't need to add too much quantity of water because um, you don't want your sauce to be, you know, watery in nature. You just have to use a little trick to make need to sprinkle a little quantity of salt at the surface of what we have in the pot here. Just a little quantity of salt, guys. So make sure you do not add too much um, salt in the pot. After adding your salt, try testing your salt to confirm if what you have there is enough. But please do not over salt your sauce, otherwise, you will have a ruined meat pie. Mine is perfect, guys. Super perfect. Now I'm going to cover this pot and turn my heat to the very lowest. So you want to use a very low heat to cook this sauce so that um, your sauce will not burn on you and also you will not end up adding too much quantity of water inside um, this sauce. So we are going to cook it down until the potato and carrot becomes um, a little bit um, softer. While the pot is still cooking on the heat, let's prepare the binder for the toppings. Yes. I'm going to add into this cup one tablespoon of uh, flour. 
So to the flour, I'll just add some little quantity of water. Combine it until it becomes very smooth. So this is what we have here, not too thick and not too light. We are going to set this aside until it is required. So guys, 10 to 15 minutes later, after cooking on a very low heat, this is what we have here, guys. You can see the appearance of the potatoes and the carrots are looking cool. Do not want your potatoes and your carrots to come out too, too mushy. Remember that we are also going to bake this um, recipe and by the time you bake it also, it's going to cook during the baking process. So can you see the base of the pot? We do not have so much liquid at the base. So this is what you should be targeting, guys, so that um, your sauce is going to come out in you know, a very thickened. This is the stage where we have to now drizzle in the substance we prepared earlier on. The flour mixture is going to form the thickener for the recipe. Go ahead now and mix everything. I've taken back my heat to the medium range and then stir everything to combine effectively. So because of the introduction of the flour we added right now, we're going to cover it for only maybe one to two minutes so that it will cook well. Two minutes later guys, and finally, finally, we have come to the end of the preparation of the toppings or the sauce and recipe. Guys, everything is completely thickened as you can see. Guys, this place smells incredibly amazing. I mean, at this stage now, you know that your meat pie is going down very soon. <laughs> I will just set it outside the heat here and allow it to completely get cool. This is the step where we have to form the meat pie. So what I'm going to pass through the sieve right now is a combination of a baking powder, nutmeg and some little quantity of salt. This is the reason why it is very important to sieve your ingredients. Can you see the rough particles? Yes, it's very important to sieve it. Just go in with your butler and mix to combine all the dry ingredients added right here. And for this recipe, I'm using four cups of flour like I have introduced earlier on. this stage, I'll open up the butter I'll gradually scoop in the butter and guys please all the ingredients you're using right now should be very cold you know you have that um, crispy crunchy outside the meat pie flavor you know it comes out very very amazing after adding the butter I'll go in with my hands and begin to massage the flour together with the butter my hands are perfectly warm so make sure you're using them clean hands to do this We are going to combine all these things until everything comes out and um, crumbly like in nature. So guys, look at what we have here. You notice that the flour is looking um, very crumbly in nature. This is what you should be having by the time you have completely mixed the butter inside um, the flour. So now you create a hole in the middle of your bowl and then we are going to pour in the egg. So go ahead and combine everything once again. You notice that because all the ingredients we included in this dough is cold, we might not even be adding too much quantity of water. See what we have here, guys? You see our dough has completely formed, even without inclusion of warm water. And this is what your perfect dough should be looking like. So as you can see, this is 60 ml of water. That is a one fourth of your cup. So I'll just add that water. Guys, see what we have here. I did not even add the whole 60 ml of um, water. I just added about half. That is about um, 30 ml of um, water. Transfer this to the wet surface and knead it a little bit just to achieve a smoothened um, dough. So just knead the dough for like one to two minutes. So please don't knead the dough too much, like one to two minutes is um, perfect and this is what we have here. We are going to leave the dough here to rest for like um, 10 to 15 minutes. I will put it in my fridge for 10 to 15 minutes while the sauce is also getting cool. At this stage guys, we are ready to form the meat pie because all the ingredients are perfectly cooled down and you know, ready to be used. So here I have the plate I'm going to use to 
cut out um, the meat pie. You can use your meat pie cutter if you have it available, but I'll be using this um, circle rounded um, bowl to, you know, cut my meat pie. The dough has rested for some time. You notice it has become softer and more elastic. So just go ahead and cut out small quantity of the dough. I place the remaining quantity back to the bowl and then covered it up. The reason for covering it up is to prevent it from drying up. So we are going to work with this portion here. I'll place this on my floured work surface and then roll out the dough to flatten. And lest I forget guys, I have crimped my cake pan. I will be using my cake pan. If you have something wider than this, that will be perfect. But I'll be using my cake pan for the, you know, baking process. Just then um, butter your cake pan and set aside. The quantity of uh, meat pies you derive from the dough we have here depends on the size of the meat pie cutter you're using. So now I'm going to cut out uh, the shape that is required. So you have to roll your dough until you have something like this. Not too flat and not too thick. You see? Yes. Not too flat and not too thick. Remove the excess dough and take it back to the bowl. Now you scoop in the sauce that we prepared earlier on inside it. Just place the sauce at the middle of um, the meat pie. The quantity of the sauce you add depends on you, but you don't have to add too much so that um, your sauce can close. I'm just adding something like a tablespoon of um, sauce. The egg that we left earlier on, that is the one egg we left earlier on, is what I have here. We are going to brush this at the surface of the dough. This is what is going to, you know, seal the edges of your dough. So once that step is completed, what we are going to do now is to cover up the meat pie. So I'll use my fork to seal the edges. So go ahead and pierce in two holes at the surface of the meat pie so that um, during the baking process it's not going to be too puffed up. Air will penetrate and then cook the sauce we have in there completely. That's what we are having guys. This is what you will continue to do until you have completely rolled out your meat pies. So guys, remember that what we are making today is a non-oven meat pie. Therefore, I have placed a very big pot at the surface of my heat and I'm using my cooker guys to illustrate to you how you can do this irrespective of uh, whether you have cooker you can use your stove your gas cooker or whatever thing you want use your charcoal grill you know to do the same method with the same type of um, approach yes guys so this pot is as big as containing my cake pan because we're going to cover it so this is perfect to have now my cooker is between uh, zero to number nine and so I have placed the settings of my cooker to number 3 settings. So I'll be regulating between 3 to 5 settings up and down, you know, for this um, baking process. So just use between the medium heat to low heat to warm up your pot. So right now I'm pouring in some quantity of salt in this um, pot. This salt is very, very important because it's going to absorb the heat, you know, from the pot as it, um, as it bakes. So right here, I've poured in some salt. If you don't want to use or waste your salt, <laughs> you can go ahead and pour in some quantity of sand at the base of your pot. I don't know if you can use garisha. I've not tried the gari own, but you can use sand or salt like I'm using. Leave this pot covered here for like uh, five minutes because um, you want this pot to be very hot before your meat pies go inside it. So guys, I have placed about four pieces of um, meat pies inside um, the cake pan and now we are going to transfer it to the heat. 
the other remaining portions i'm going to bake them um, later using the same method guys so what i'm going to do now is to brush the surface of um, this meat pies with the egg wash so now that this process is completed we are going over to the pot area where we are going to place the dough inside them the pot that has been preheating for five good minutes at this stage my pot is very hot i will open it up so I'm going to place this type of um, rack inside it. The essence of this is to prevent um, the cake pan from sitting at the base of the pot. Don't have this type of thing. Just place any container inside here that has the same equal, you know, levels. It's just so that your cake pan will not sit at the base. And then here we are bringing in the meat pies. So we are going to sit the meat pies here. Now at this stage, guys, I have now increased my heat to number five settings in my cooker. Yes, guys, number five settings. So that is my medium heat. When using this method, you have to be very, very careful. Remember that what we are having at the base there is salt. Whether you're using salt or sand, you have to be careful so that you don't pour them on the surface of your meat pies. Like I said, my heat is at the medium range. So I'll cover this pot right now and give this meat pie opportunity to bake between 40 to 50 good minutes. Guys, we are about 35 minutes to 40 minutes into the baking process. I just want to show you what is going on inside here. So this is the condition of the pies at this point in time. It's about 40 good minutes since I've been baking. You can see that um, the pies are almost ready. Baking this meat pie, I told you I was using medium heat to bake, which is uh, my number five settings. But I've been turning the heat from 5 to 4, 5 to 4, 5 to 4 during the baking process. So if you think it's getting too hot, just um, regulate it. Okay guys, so after 1 hour 30 good minutes, finally, finally, this is the end result of our meat pie. Guys, I baked for 1 hour 30 minutes just because... Um, I wanted to have this type of um, appearance you just have to be very patient and pay attention to it and make sure that them um, it does not um, bend beneath the pot so this is what we have here guys meat pie without oven looking so yummy ah this meat pie eh? it smells incredibly amazing i'm feeling so proud of this meat pies are you guys ready to do some yummy delicious biting <laughs> yes guys so we are carefully going to remove it from heat right now so please remove this from heat and place it on your wet surface and give it time to cool down before you eat it you can eat this meat pie within 48 good hours of um, preparation process if you want it very tasty you can also store it in your freezer and allow it to stay as long as you the want point it in time where we get to release the meat pies from the bowl because it's already cooled down right now so it can come out easily can you guys see what we have here look at how beautiful and crispy these meat pies are looking this is what we have here guys I want to break the meat pie into two so that you will see the internal outcome As you can see the meat pies are looking very crispy Can you see the outcome of the meat pie? Look at the back view and this is the internal view this video is an indication that you can also bake your meat pies without using the oven and have a crispy looking meat pies. If you want it soft, then it means that um, you have to stop baking during the 15 minutes um, interval. But because I wanted the dough to cook very well, that is why I baked for almost 1 hour 30 good minutes to have this. Mm, let me give a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the cool. Mm -mm. It tastes absolutely incredible. Super amazing.